Was insane. Yes, I mean, guys, the aftermath of the live eviction show just literally sent emotions flying here and there. There was chaos inside Big Brother's house and outside Big Brother's house. Now, for just the sake of this video, we're going to focus on the chaos inside the house, and then I'm going to make more videos about you know what happened <laughs> on social media after Uriel was sent packing from Big Brother's mansion, all right? Now, there were two different quarrels that happened in the house last night. There was the heated, like guys, there was the explosive altercation between E.K. and Angel. Ladies and gentlemen, it was crazy. It was crazy. These people took the insult home. They took the drags home. It was wild. So many unprintable names mentioned. So many open secrets mentioned as well, guys. It was wild. We're going to talk about that. There was also the first lover's teeth between Adekunle and Venita. Although they tried to hide it, but Angel exposed it to us via telling Suma. So what we're going to do on this video is we're going to talk about the fight between Angel and EK first. And if there's time, we're going to also add the Adikule and Benita's one. If I don't add it, just know that I'm thinking that the video is too lengthy already and I'm going to extend it to another video, right? So um, whilst I speak and whilst you watch, please go ahead and share with me your thoughts in the comment section below. And um, special greetings to every single one of you. You are especially welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah and I am the girl with the tea. Um, please, if you're yet to become a part of this community, do not forget to do exactly what you see on your screen. Please subscribe and turn on your post notification bell. And also, I've noticed that a lot of you have complained that you do not receive notifications of my videos. Guys, I upload multiple videos daily, all right? So you don't have to wait for notifications. Yes, just check my my channel and there's always always a new update all right and please like this video and feel free to share it now let's proceed the fight between angel and ek was all about chicken yes guys <laughs> we are fully aware that there's a food crisis in big brother's house and aside the fact that these housemates have tried different methods of stashing away food and ended up getting exposed by Big Brother. I mean, if you all recall on Friday, after their wager task presentation, and um, they had returned back into the house and had discovered all of their, you know, hidden away food items on the dining table, they had decided to not, you know, stash away food anymore, but to try as much as possible to ration the food, you know, so that to go across everybody in the house. But then, it's still not enough for the likes of EK, as EK is still wielding his power, his authority in the house, talking about, oh, I'm going to eat anything I want to eat. I have the right to eat upstairs and I have the right to eat downstairs. Now, Angel has chicken that she kept. Now, I don't know, like I can't recall if she actually bought that chicken separately last week during their shopping um, experience yes what i do know is that angel actually bought extra um eggs yeah she bought i think one or two crates of eggs so she has enough eggs but then that chicken the conversation of angel owning that chicken only came up um, a few nights ago in last week when she had discovered that her coin had been stolen and then out of anger out of frustration she had vowed to you know pack like an entire chicken and cook it and eat it all by herself except the person that stole her coins returned her coins to her so i'm thinking that okay could it be that that is the chicken that she actually you know stashed away from the um the fridge that she's now claiming to be hers the way the fight had broke out was quite funny yes because angel was in the dressing area preparing to go have a bath and then somebody had come to call her that oh somebody wants to eat her and suma's chicken or she should come and carry it and that was where she ran to the kitchen and carried the pots 
<laughs> of chicken. I wanted to keep it in the dressing area. And already she was already upset. Ike was upset. And boom. She had gone out to the to the kitchen and you know was confronting EK and every other person that wanted to eat the chicken. And EK was already upset at that point in time. And that was how they entered the crossfire of you know firing insults at each other, guys. It was not even funny at all. These people went all out to drag each other. And this one is not a matter of EK body shamed angel or wanting wanting. Guys, they both body shamed each other. In fact, they body shamed each other, they slush shamed each other, they did everything to each other. Guys, it was a crazy but fair fight. Now, EK was really upset because initially it seemed like it was actually, you know, not really taking the situation, you know, that serious. So first time Angel was, you know, hurling insults at him, it was just kind of laughing, you know, in his usual EK's jokey jokey manner. But then we know that Angel has got a nasty mouth when she's in an argument or in a fight with someone. So there were so many things that Angel was saying and in the process was broke shaming EK yes and guys we know that this is not the first time angel is doing this this is more like the third time that she's going to be brook shaming ek whenever there's an issue between them whether she's sure of the issue or not and so she was saying a whole lot of things and that was really what got to ek and ek decided to reciprocate the energy guys the fight took three stages <laughs> three stages the first time angel came into the kitchen they they went back to back she said she said the most things that she went back into the dressing area and she was saying a whole lot and then Ike was really upset because he thought about it and he felt like come is it every time that this girl attacks me that i keep quiet so he had decided to match her energy for once and guys that was how they went into world war three or world war four it was insane it was insane and Ike was so provoked, guys. Ike was so provoked that he had to put his hands behind his back and then he had to face the kitchen mirror whilst he was, you know, saying all what he wanted to say. Now, Angel was going around and in a way, it seemed like she was almost going to be golden Ike, but Ike ensured to stay put in his position. Angel was the one that was going back and forth, going back and forth. For me, it was a fair fight yes because they equally insulted each other. Angel broke shame DK, calling him a small boy, this boy. EK equally told her, well, you call me a small boy, this boy. Well, you too, you've been selling your puss, you know, to get money, to do whatever you're doing. And guys, that was how they continued all back and forth, back and forth. Now, in the midst of all of this wahala, Soma was right there in the kitchen. He was telling EK to calm down, that EK should not match up Angel's energy. To basically allow Angel to cool off for a bit. But then, EK could not really control himself. He was really upset. Now, initially, EK wanted to be calm. But Kidwire had called him aside and had told him to not keep quiet, that he should go ahead and face Angel head on so that if she receives his energy tonight, next time, she would avoid him. You know, more like Ginger and Ike to give Angel a taste of his nastiness. And that was exactly what um, Ike did. But anyways, fast forward to after the whole draggings, the whole altercation and everything, um, Soma had gone to have a conversation with Ike and, you know, like man to man, he had told Ike that, listen, in this house, you're more like the first guy that has really gone head on with a female like that. That you should understand that Angel is a girl, you know, and she will definitely talk, you know, and when she talks, she talks dirty when she's upset. And since you know that, try to be the bigger person. And guys, I'm going to be frank with you. I was really angry when Soma was saying that, oh, Ike should be the bigger person. And I'm like, why? Why exactly? I mean, the females should know that they do not have the monopoly of madness. If they think that they can go all out to insult a guy, then they should also know that a guy can equally go all out to insult them. This should not be a thing of, oh, and that's how women behave. No, that is not how women behave. That is what happens when an individual is triggered, an individual is provoked, and it's okay for them to express themselves. Now, I was kind of not really happy you know, with Soma for coming from that angle, you know, to try to pacify EK. But they had a good talk and um, Soma just was basically advising him that it's better not to expend your energy going all angry like that. And then at the end of the day, you can't really do anything because you're in Big Brother's house. Yes. So at the end of the day, you talk and talk and talk, you waste your energy. What happens next? I'm like, well, Soma, if you talk and talk and talk and you waste your energy, it's not really a waste. It's more like you venting out the toxicity of that anger from your system. And it's absolutely fine because if you do not vent, there's going to be an implosion 
Yes, we've said this before on this channel. There's going to be an implosion when a housemate piles up anger, piles up anger, builds it up, up to the point that it begins to affect their, their capacity to reason. You know, they, guys, there's an implosion. They go crazy. It affects their mental health. So the art, <laughs> let me call it art, the art and the act of entering into altercations in Big Brother's house, guys, I feel like that is like one of the safest ways for these housemates to express themselves when they are really angry. Because the truth is, dialogue does not work all the time. Yes, sometimes you want to let it all out. You want to scream. You want to let out your emotions in form of screaming, in form of shouting, whatever it takes, just to get it out of your system. But anyways, they had that conversation and Suma advised EK to go ahead and apologize to Angel, you know, so that they can just make peace. Because Angel left her room, that's the peach room, to the blue room. And Ike did as Suma suggested, went to Angel, apologized, explained his own side of the story, and even told her that he was not trying to eat a chicken. That was trying to help her, you know, save or rescue the chicken from his BFFs upstairs, guys. You know, with Ike, sometimes you can't even tell when this guy is lying, except you catch him in the act. But anyways, Angel said that she had heard. But then, Angel was not upset with Suma. Now, her anger was the fact that whilst that altercation was happening, Suma did not fight for her. So when Suma had come into the room to have a conversation with her and equally check on her to say that she was okay, she was just giving Suma the silent treatment. This guy explained, 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 oh, for where? Angel was still giving him the silent treatment it was so bad it was so bad it was so ridiculous and i'm like i don't get it so i understand that these two people they are kind of getting intimate in the house but why would she expect suma to you know go head on with um ek i mean it was more like she was expecting suma to defend her like adequately would normally defend venita you know irrationally in that house and guys i loved the fact that suma explained to her that listen you know i'm not a confrontational person i would rather tell the line of dialogue and i feel like that dialogue really worked yes because even ek when he was having conversations with other people about the whole um, incident he has said that he liked suma suma is very cool and he loved the fact that Suma did not involve himself because Suma would have automatically been his target in that house. You know, that he appreciated the fact that Suma stared clear and later they had a conversation about it. But Angel <laughs> likes the kind of gangster boyfriend, you know, that's gangster boyfriend that would always come and fight for you whether you're right or wrong. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think that Angel is in the right to be upset with Soma? If you were in Soma's situation, what would you have done different? If you were in Angel's shoes, what would you have done different? If you were in Angel's shoes, would you be that upset with Soma for not joining in your fight against EK? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you guys on another video because there's a lot to talk about. Have an amazing day. An amazing new week as well. Bye.